All new at 5, a story you'll see only on 10. A moped driver seriously hurt after police say that he ran a red light slamming into another car. Now, it happened just before midnight Tuesday at 27th and Colley Avenue in Norfolk. And 10 on your side's Kara Dixon talked to the ODU athletes who came to that man's rescue until paramedics and police got there. Kara? Derek Walder and Marquise Little say their football coach has always taught them to help out when they can. That life lesson came to fruition Tuesday night when the teammates were headed back to campus. Tuesday night, Derek Walder and Marquise Little were driving less than five minutes from Old Dominion's campus on Colley Avenue when they saw something in the road. Marquise was like, yo, I think that guy needs help. And we look over and there's this man laying in the road and his scooter's like not far behind him. Little, who's a junior at ODU, pulled his car over to block traffic from hitting the man lying in the street while Wilder called 911. We didn't know if he was alive. We didn't know if he was, you know, what had happened. And we were just, you know, trying to make sure that we could keep him with us until somebody got there to help. Because at the time, nobody else had stopped for him. You know, we didn't know how long he'd been on the ground or anything. And there were cars that were still going right by him. According to police, the driver of the moped was headed down 27th Street before midnight when he went through the red light hitting a four-door sedan. Walter and Little say they didn't see the driver of the sedan at first because they had parked further up the street. The two were surprised cars kept speeding by instead of stopping to help out. That's why Wilder tweeted this photo of the accident scene. It was just trying to show other people that there, there's really situations that go on where nobody offers the help. The two teammates say they're hoping the victim who has serious injuries recovers. They stopped because of the lessons learned in football to always help others out who are in trouble. It didn't matter if I had somewhere to go or not, if I was going to be late to something. You know, that Saving this man's life or, you know, trying to was clearly more important than anything I had going on. And I was just, you know, glad that I was right there at that time and was able to help him. At last check, the victim of that accident was in the hospital in serious condition. The Norfolk Police Department says they are thankful for Wilder and Little's efforts, and it shows that there are good Samaritans out there. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.